Grab a tea, grab a coffee, grab a snack <laughs> because it's gonna be a long one. I'm gonna take you through surgery day till my six month follow up until now. <laughs> I'm gonna be inserting clips for some time period and for some, I'm just gonna tell you because some of those clips, my voice isn't the greatest. I mean, some of them I did like just come out of surgery, so understandable. These are the kind of videos I was looking for when I was thinking about breast reduction. I just think there needs to be more like this out on the internet, so. Here we go. So November 10th was the day of my surgery, 2022. I cannot believe it's already been a year. Video from that day, like literally the surgery day right after my voice is like high pitched and raspy and not ideal, but I think that's just what your voice is gonna sound like after surgery. So starting from right when I got there, it took me to the pre and post-op area. I changed into a gown. I waited for a nurse to come over and take my blood pressure and ask me a couple questions, fill out a form. I was incredibly nervous. I was freaking out. I started crying to this nurse. She was so sweet. I was just like, don't even worry, ignore me. I'm just super nervous. Once I was changed into the gown, I was led over to the surgery room and I laid down and all the staff around me introduced themselves. It was really nice. Everybody was just making sure that I felt really comfortable. It was actually really helpful for my nerves. I was still I was still really nervous. So the person administering the anesthesia counted down and I don't remember anything after that. One thing I didn't know because I never had surgery like that before, put like these blankets and like heating pads and things like all over you, which was really nice. You feel very cocooned, you feel very comfy, really warm. When I woke up from the surgery, I felt so nauseous. Oh my god. I'm not somebody that gets nauseous easily. Very rare. And I could not believe the level of nausea. So I did stay there a little bit longer. Like I didn't leave right away because I kind of wanted the nausea to like die down before I left. They didn't have anything for me. Like I was like, do you have anything you can give me for nausea? Like I'm dying. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. They were like, no, we don't have anything. Like nothing, no gravel, nothing. I was like, cool. It would've been nice to know beforehand to bring some gravel or something anti-nausea. I highly recommend that if you're gonna get the surgery, bring something like that with you for when you wake up. Apparently the minute the anesthesia wore off, I was up. I was ready. Super fucking nauseous, but ready. <laughs> so in terms of pain, at that moment, I couldn't feel anything. Like nothing. All I felt was like a really heavy feeling on my chest. That was it. Like just something was like being pressed on my chest. Not necessarily up here, but like where my boobs are. Just like, it just felt like really heavy. After waiting a while, they were like, okay, you, got, you gotta go soon. Like, <laughs> we need this bed. My mom and Josh came to pick me up. And when I tell you I was not only nauseous, but dizzy, like, I <laughs> I tried to go to the bathroom while I was there and nearly fell over. You're just out of it. You're just out of it. Sorry for the lighting changes. I don't know what's happening. I got onto the wheelchair from the bed and then they literally wheeled me down the elevator, down the hall, everything, like right up until my mom's car. Also, I think I mentioned this in part one, bringing a shirt or something that you can just button up easily at the front was a lifesaver because you just have like the bra on and everything feels really heavy, like lifting your arms feels like a lot. So just being able to slip something on really easily is great. Like definitely don't forget to bring something like that. So when I got in the car, this was, <laughs> this was so bad. I thought the nausea in the room was bad, no. The nausea in the car was 100% worse. I almost threw up in the car, so tip. Bring a plastic bag or something that you can throw up into in the car if it happens. Didn't happen for me, thankfully. So when I got home, I sat on my couch upright, falling like in and out of sleep because you can't lay down completely right after. You have to like be sitting up. Well, that was really uncomfortable, but there was nothing really I could do about that. So I fell asleep around like five o'clock until like eight o'clock, just a few hours. I tried to eat something. Around this time, it was like a four out of 10 maybe for pain there was like a little bit but it was honestly nothing compared to like a few days from then we'll get to that you're still under the anesthesia you're not really feeling it yet when you're not like moving or laughing you're fine it's only really when you're moving so if you just get home and you stay still and you stay on the couch you'll be totally fine highly recommend you have someone with you helping you do everything because if it wasn't for my boyfriend that would have been bad that would have sucked um it would have been a lot more a lot more of a painful experience 
experience helped with a lot so if you have anyone who can like live with you for a few days if you live on your own or like a roommate or something tell them can you just help me for these two days not even just two days like I would say like at least three four days of help if you can a week at this point my chest felt really really tight like it felt like I had a sunburn like it felt like I just had some kind of burn more uncomfortable versus painful I also felt like I was super hunched over like I always felt like I was like walking like like this you <laughs> kind of like you can't really straighten out because when you straighten out your chest moves it's so much effort it feels really really heavy it feels really uncomfortable you don't want to move so you're kind of just like stuck in this kind of hunched sort of position so you would think you'd feel lighter but you don't right now it's uncomfortable that area and you're in pain so this whole like feeling lighter right away I did not feel that in terms of eating I was not able to eat anything like right after I tried to eat a bagel almost died <laughs> the nausea was out to play it was like you're not having anything for a while do not even try it it just felt super gross so i didn't attempt that again for another couple hours eventually i ate like a granola bar and some candy candy was the lifesaver not long after that i went to bed sleeping was very weird because i had to sleep upright my boyfriend's next to me laying down and i'm just having to sleep literally like this it was weird. <laughs> it was uncomfortable. I woke up and my butt really hurt more than anything else, to be honest. That was where most of the pain was coming from. My, my ass. Because it's just, you're falling asleep sitting. Like, it's not normal. The day after, I felt really, really uncomfortable. I felt like the bra they gave me, like the surgical bra, was way too tight on me. I was in so much pain. Not even just from, I felt like the surgery, but I felt like I was in pain because the bra was just too tight. Listen to how you're feeling if something doesn't feel right. Right. call your surgeon call the nurse call somebody let them know because that's what i did i ended up calling and talking to one of the nurses and letting them know that this bra was creating red marks on me and it was just like so uncomfortable i was getting more pain from like the the under part of that bra than anything else so she said if i had anything that was like similar to that bra that was still supportive but not had no underwire that i could just switch it out for something that i already own that i found comfortable i ended up taking off that bra and using this like random bralette i have from aritzia never in a million years that i think i would be using it for like after my reduction surgery it was perfect because it was the same kind of shape it was really comfortable it was like a soft cotton the band underneath it was not wired or anything Anything. it was just like a flat band the straps were adjustable so I could make it as tight or as loose as I wanted to I ended up just wearing that instead of the surgical bra I never put the surgical bra back on so if you feel like it's too uncomfortable for you if you're feeling uncomfortable say something because it's also not good for it to be like that tight so on day three I finally went outside I went for a walk I tried to do something physical because I had just been sitting so I really wanted to see if I could just go for a walk that was not fun not fun every step hurt like anything that that made my boobs or my chest move was not enjoyable was not comfortable at least i got outside it's now day four i forgot to do a little update yesterday pain is getting better every day it's like less and less painful each day also sleeping sitting up <laughs> i've gotten more used to it still sucks like my back and my neck are not happy but definitely much better than like the first or second day i don't remember if in like the last update i mentioned that i didn't have to take pain meds yet definitely taking them now in the evenings it gets really uncomfortable it's like a really tight heavy feeling on your boobs where the stitches are like where the incisions are hold on my arm hurts like why am i doing this with my arm up when i'm not supposed to do that these kind of shirts um like shirts that button or like zip is like all you're gonna be wearing because that's the most comfortable i haven't worn like any t-shirts or anything that you put over your head because it's just too uncomfortable to move your arms like that and to have anything like up against your chest i'm already noticing like a difference in the way my torso looks because they're not big and they're not like leaning down you can just see more of my waist and my torso which i absolutely love that was one of the things that i couldn't wait for right now standing is not super comfortable i washed my hair for the first time josh washed my hair <laughs> but yeah i didn't wash my hair josh washed my hair okay. really nice finally getting to wash my hair that's one of the things that like really sucked at, at first just having your hair so 
gross and dirty and not really being able to do their Sebastian. Not really being able to do much. It's just super uncomfortable to like do that on yourself. I'm going to get my stitches removed, I think, tomorrow. I have the appointment at 9 a.m. and I'm so nervous. I've never even had stitches in my life. This is the first time I've had stitches. So I'm scared. I hope I don't feel anything. I don't know if he's gonna like give me something so that I don't feel it. I'm like already cringing at the thought. I don't even want to look at them. Hopefully that will help with like some of the tightness. I'll give an update after that appointment. Okay, bye. Okay, so he's gonna come in any minute now. So I'm not gonna <laughs> talk too loudly, but getting my stitches removed. I'm like shitting my pants. <laughs> I hope it doesn't hurt. Um, yeah. I'll let you know how it goes. I just got back from the follow-up appointment. It's been five days since the surgery. That was probably the most painful experience so far. I think of everything that was the most pain I've felt. It was like all a first for me. So maybe that was why it was a bit more painful. Stitches themselves wasn't bad, but the tape on top of the stitches, like taking that tape off was horrible not gonna sugarcoat it the only part so far that i would say was actually very painful the rest has been fine he removed the tape took the stitches out and then put tape on top and that i can take off myself in 10 days <laughs> which i'm dreading do not want to take off that tape nor do i want to do it myself maybe in 10 days like it won't be sensitive or maybe it won't be as painful he said everything looks amazing he said it looks great they look like they're supposed to look i'm recovering well and then he talked about scar cream scar gel and i haven't decided if i'm gonna use any because i've never had any kind of scars so i don't actually know if i scar badly or if i scar at all if i do i'll let you guys know what i use and like if it actually works i'll probably give another update at maybe the 10 week mark pain right now is kind of annoying he said that if i was taking the pain Pain meds like i should start weaning off of them and like taking regular pain meds it is now day six it's almost a week the last clip i filmed would have been like, right after i got the stitches removed i just thought because in the appointment he said that i'm gonna start weaning off the pain meds i thought i'm gonna be in less pain now the pain isn't gonna get like worse it's only gonna get better uh no that night was extremely uncomfortable don't expect less pain after the stitches are removed because i felt more definitely couldn't take less of the pain meds last night maybe he thinks i'm taking more so he's like okay you know maybe if she's taking two or three wean down to one kind of thing today it isn't too bad still uncomfortable really hoping by this weekend i'll just like be less uncomfortable at night nighttime is just the worst later it gets the more uncomfortable you get one more night of sleeping sitting up and then i don't have to do that anymore i think this is going to be like the last update that i do from now and on it's kind of going to be the same like it, i don't really think it's going to change much i think the pain will just get less and less each day i won't really be able to see results until at least six weeks because that's when the swelling will go down that's why everyone keeps asking me if like I love the results and I've noticed a change and like for me personally they're swollen so it still feels heavy so I don't feel lighter <laughs> so much like anticipation like you just want it to be like better so you can like put on the things that you want to wear I really just want to like put on certain bras and sports bras and stuff right now I struggle to get in and out of this Aritzia bra as it is by now we've gone through a couple videos hopefully if I've done this video properly you just finished watching one where I'm talking about how it felt getting my stitches removed I I wish I had taken something before I went to get the stitches removed because then maybe the pain wouldn't have been so bad during like even after I got them removed I should have just taken something right away when I got home anyway two weeks after that video I started wearing other bralettes I started trying things on I was just I was so excited I really wanted to try stuff on like my bathing suits and just to see how everything fit I was like anxiously waiting that every day I would like look at the things I wanted to try on and be like oh am I gonna be able to try it today after about two to three weeks was when I was able to do that I felt like I could stretch a bit more comfortably like before I couldn't really move that much without feeling super uncomfortable now I felt like the 
skin was kind of stretching with me. Four weeks after the surgery, I took the tape off my scars. There's tape that's put on after you have the stitches removed. I kept that tape on. I just felt more comfortable with it on. I felt more secure. I felt like the skin moved a little bit less maybe around the scar with the tape on. About a week after that is when I started the scar cream. The scar cream I use is called Mederma. I got it off of Amazon. I will put it in my Amazon storefront. Also got a variety of different like anti-itch creams which I'll talk about later because your scar will get itchy oh my god yeah I started the scar cream Mederma I did like it it did kind of annoy me sometimes how long it would take to like dry but overall it was good I'm not sure if it made like a huge difference on me just because my scars did not end up the way I thought they would if you've seen my scar video you'll know my scars ended up like hypertrophic so hypertrophic hypertrophic so they are raised and thick and red so they're not like normal scars I feel like Mederma was meant more for people who are going to scar normally and not like me anyway we'll get some more of the scars in a bit I have a whole video on that if you want to hear about how much I don't like my scars and how much they suck ass I will link it here question that everybody asks me which I understand fitness is a big part of my life I have a fitness Instagram. Love working out. So I was really anxious to start exercising again. And I really, really thought it was going to take a lot longer than it did for me to get back into it. You will be able to start exercising a lot sooner than you think. Around like four weeks, you're cleared to do exercise. Like he was telling me, you will be completely fine to do any exercise, including weightlifting. And I was like, no, I think I'm going to wait a bit longer because that sounds too soon or it's six weeks was it six weeks around four to six weeks i'm pretty sure i was just like too paranoid this was around christmas so i thought let me just wait until after christmas break give it a time for my body to relax to heal i didn't want to risk also getting sore eight weeks is when i started going to the gym I'm sorry i'm talking in weeks <laughs> i know that might be really annoying i realized that after that i could just say like the, the number of months Sometimes I talk in weeks and sometimes I talk in months. I don't know why. This is just the way I wrote it down on my phone. I just kept writing in my calendar. Second week, third week, fourth week. I think it's also because that's how the surgeon talked to me about it. I'm sorry if that's annoying you. My boobs still felt really swollen. They did not feel normal yet. The skin felt weird. It didn't feel very like jiggly and natural. It felt very tight. They did not fit into sports bras like I thought they would. I was really excited to put on these like tiny sports bra that I had that kind of with my old boobs my boobs would like spill out of them and I wouldn't really be able to wear them to the gym so I was really excited to wear these like tiny sports bras they literally didn't fit me or they were still spilling out and I was like so upset by this I just made them smaller what is happening it was just because they were swollen I I knew that the swelling does take a really long time to go down at least it did for me I was doing all my weightlifting like I was not holding back on anything I did do exercises that involve chest and it was totally fine I felt no pain after we're more in our heads about it right like when people would hear that I exercise like eight weeks after some people feel like you should wait longer but really you're clear to do it so just do it when you feel most comfortable but know that you don't have to wait until like a year later like you can do it you'll be okay a bit after i started working out like around nine ten weeks is when i started to actually like the way my boobs looked i wasn't loving it i was not loving them before that which is understandable they were swollen they were not the way they were not looking the way they were supposed to look so i was not happy with them that was really frustrating so week nine i was starting to like them i was starting to like how they looked and things and they started to kind of feel and look more normal scars were less visible less itchy i was getting some sensation back you're gonna be numb in a lot of areas and you're gonna just have to wait for the sensation to slowly come back it was still painful when i was sleeping but i could sleep a bit more comfortably and the swelling on the side of my boobs seemed to be like going down that's another thing you do swell like everywhere not just like your boob area you can swell like on the sides here which is where i was swelling and that just felt really weird because it just looked really different yeah i didn't like it also by this time i was doing sprints so that just shows you how normal exercise is by then and how fine you are to do it i was in zero pain and i was doing sprints at my follow-up i made sure that it would be fine to run and do intense exercise and he said absolutely if anything it will help because it will like improve the circulation get you moving if anything it will benefit you to move rather than not i also 
also started CrossFit around this time. And if you know anything about CrossFit, you know it's really intense. Throwing around a lot of weight, slamming your body down on the ground during those burpees. It's a lot. I look back and I'm like, wow, I really, I really did that. Right after surgery, I was like, let's do sprints, let's do CrossFit. I went fucking full on. Yeah, I was fine. CrossFit was fine. I was completely comfortable. By this time too, the swelling was down even more. So I was able to wear more of my smaller sports bra. If you're just looking to get back into weightlifting, you'll be totally fine. Trust me. Like if I can do CrossFit nine, 10 weeks after, you will be totally fine to do bodybuilding style weightlifting. Right at 10 weeks is when I could finally sleep sleep on my side. I am like a back and a side sleeper. And what drove me crazy about these scars was finding it so uncomfortable to sleep on my side. Sleeping was just painful. I would wake up and they would feel really sore, really tight. Like right when I would wake up was when you kind of feel the most pain that you would of the day. So really sucked. By week 10, finally sleep um, like on my side more comfortably. By week 11, I still had pain. The scars kind of started to get annoying again. It really is kind of like up and down. It's not just like a linear, straight path to no pain. I feel like it kind of goes up and down. It's different for everyone too. So this is just how it was for me. But I did start wearing like the bralette to bed because I felt like that was more comfortable. Maybe because like when I would sleep on my back, your boobs kind of like go off to the side. And when you have the bralette on, they like keep them in one place. So I think that actually really helped with my scars and not feeling like my skin was being stretched out. Don't be afraid to wear something supportive to bed if that helps you with pain. Do whatever works best for you. So at 13 weeks, I started to get so itchy oh my god the itchiness nobody talks about this ever I watched videos about this people didn't really talk about how itchy you could get it sucks so much it's horrible yes they were at a point where they were more jiggly and moving around naturally but they also started to feel a lot more itchy so I had to get creams at one point it was just so itchy it felt like they were on fire I went to shoppers and I got about 17 different scar creams I got like three <laughs> my favorite one was the polysporin and I itch actually did make a difference. It did provide relief. You need something for the itchiness. Get that. We're almost there. We're almost at the six month mark. I promise. I know this is long, but I really hope this is helping you realize what it's like each week and what you need. 22 weeks. So sorry for speaking in weeks and not months. I went to Dominican. I did ask my surgeon what I would need to do if I went on vacation with these scars, if there was anything specific. And he just said, keep them out of the sun because that will affect the way they look. Might affect healing. Which which, uh, in Dominican, when you're lying on the beach, it's actually a really hard thing to do, especially when you're really excited to get those, those itty bitty titties, you're excited to get them out, get them in a bikini. You don't want to be covering them up. It's the opposite of what I want to do. And what sucks about small bikinis is I realized that in that middle area, there's not a lot of covering up. Scars do come up more in the middle than you might think. That's something that I didn't really know beforehand either. They're more noticeable, especially when you're wearing like low V cut tops, you see like maybe like this much of the scar on each side. That really sucks. That I did not know about. But you will see them through bikinis and on the side here too. The scar comes out more than I thought it would on the sides. Constantly had to be aware of what bikinis covered the scars properly. I honestly cried over this because I just didn't know that this was going to be such a thing. I realized that so many of the things I wanted to wear were actually not going to be wearable. So be prepared for that if you do go on vacation not long after you get the surgery. It's getting dark. I don't know how I'm losing light already. It's not even that late. It's only like four o'clock. Jumping to my six month follow up. So I asked my surgeon if they should still be swollen and he said yes. That was totally normal even though I had googled this a million times. I still needed to hear it from him and it could take a year to two years for the swelling to completely go down. That made me feel better because I still felt like they were a bit bigger than I wanted them to be. I asked him when sensation will come back. He said again it depends on you. Six month mark is about when you should start feeling that could come back in like these tingling shooting sensations and he said every time you feel like a shooting pain that is like your nerve kind of like waking up i still get those shooting pains now and it's a year later every time i get one i'm like yes come back please i asked him if the incision should be this red because mine are red were more red at the time when they will fade more it was normal for them to be red and it just depends on how you heal could take one to two years for them to get less noticeable and go to that stage where they're kind of completely white. So that sucks, especially with me where I have the hypertrophic scars. 
That's what he's specifically gearing what he's saying towards that I have those like, thick raised scars it might take longer for me than someone else Is it normal for bras to fit different because it was driving me crazy and he said yeah because they're just swollen Scars were less sensitive at the six month mark than they were a couple weeks before before that I was getting this thing where like they were just even really sensitive to touch like just the scar itself Like even having anything placed on it like a bralette or like if I just were to push my finger against the scar it would hurt like they were just really really sensitive and I think that's because I was like avoiding touching them which is not good you shouldn't do that because then they will get more sensitive after I realized that that could be a thing I started like touching them more often and putting like bralettes on and like massaging them I was still sore overall the scars still sucked at six months they were still itchy from time to time sensation in a lot of different areas all my boobs just had not come back yet so if you're feeling any of that at six months you're not alone so now we're in june this is when i started calisthenics which is like body weight style workouts still thriving with the workouts even being sore and itchy it was never enough to put me off of exercise this time i started putting tape like silicone tape on the scars to kind of prevent them from getting worse at this point i've done a lot of like research i found out that silicone cream and strips were the best i love this tape versus the ones i was using at first i like this tape a lot more i'm gonna link it in my amazon storefront it is amazing it comes with more tape more comfortable more sweat resistant so you can wear it and it's not just gonna start falling off if you're sweating it stays on for longer It honestly feels like it molds to your skin. It's so comfortable. I'm wearing the scar tape right now It's the best I've found so far. I highly recommend you get this tape It's much cheaper than like the silicone gel one I was using at first so much more worth your money I actually feel like it's working fingers crossed. It's not just all in my head I do feel like it's working. It's making them less visible and not only that I just feel overall more comfortable when I'm wearing it. I literally sleep with this scar tape on. I was also around this time using scar gel, like the silicone gel. It was pretty annoying because it's really, really sticky. It was annoying to put it on and then it would take like forever to dry. It felt like it would never fully dry. And then when you would put clothes on it would just like stick to that clothes so i still would recommend the tape we're now in september finally i started to see fading real fading where it turned from like a red line more to a white line i was in shock faded more in the middle here in that part that i liked the least i wasn't expecting to just look at it one day and it be faded like that it gave me hope that hopefully the rest of the scar will heal like that 10 months after the surgery is when i really started to see real signs real proof that there was some some healing happening don't get discouraged if you don't see them fading like three months after they did fade before that but this was like where it actually was like a big difference are you guys still with me i feel like this is really long but i really just want to get it all in one video i don't want to make you come back for another part in september is when i did my follow-up after the six month follow-up he said they were looking a lot better so if you have hypertrophic scars hypertrophic i really hope i've been saying it right there is hope he just said they're healing really slowly because now he was confirming that they're hypertrophic and not keloid scars he could say like yes i think they will completely fade away over time whereas with keloid scars those sometimes don't completely fade without some kind of like additional treatment they're both common any kind of scar this can happen all you can do beforehand is like, ask people in your family ask your mom ask your dad what their scars look like honestly if i had known way before my surgery that I was at risk for getting these type of scar. I don't know if I would have gone through with it. I would talk to people in your family, literally look at their scars, tell them how it feels when they get a scar and how they heal, get them to describe it to you. Obviously this is for anyone that doesn't have scars already. My mom's scar is pretty faded. It looks really good. So I have hope that mine will get to that point. Fingers crossed. If I had known that they were gonna get like this, I don't know if I would have gotten the surgery. Some days I'm like, no, I still would have got it. I love them so much. And another part of me, like when the scars are itchy or when they get annoying, I wear like a really tight top and they kind of hurt when I sleep a certain way and they kind of hurt. Just like all these little reminders that they're there. When those things happen, I'm like, why the fuck 
did I do this? You really gotta look into how things will scar, what you're willing to deal with. That leads me to now, which I already kind of touched on. I am still using that scar tape. I really like wearing it. Feels like they're helping. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about my surgery, if there's anything that I didn't answer, just comment it below. If you guys do want a, like a two year update, let me know. If you're thinking of getting the surgery, I really hope it goes well for you. Let me know how recovery is going. I would love to know my last video about the scars loved hearing from you guys some of you were saying you're really happy that I posted that video made you feel less alone and that made me so happy that made my day okay bye <laughs>